Revelations chapter 6 verse 7 Be not deceived Yahweh is not mocked For whatsoever a man soweth That shall he also reap I want to give all praises Honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha Kodash Double honors to my apostles and bishops Of Great Millstone who rule well Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, Shalom. I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you with a quick lesson. And um, I made title of the lesson uh, Yahweh is not mocked. You know, Yahweh by Shimmy Howard shot. And uh, you brothers and a few sisters should know, you know, where I'm going in this lesson from uh, recent reports that happened yesterday. You know, Elder Beloved, our beloved Elder Apostle, you know, uh, Tahar, Elder Apostle Tahar, he uh, covered a video, and so did the other apostles, you know, and brothers, you know, uh, covered the video with Polite, you know, being sentenced to seven years. Now, you know, we're not laughing at him, all right? And I know I'm, you know, I'm not laughing at him, you know? And I can say for other brothers here in Great Millstone, we're not laughing, okay? But what we're striving to, sh to show you through this example is that the Most High is not mocked. You know, because certain jokers who, you know, they might feel some type of way, well, that's your fault. You know, and you might take it the wrong way that we do videos on the matter. But we do videos on everything. You know, the prophets, you know, are here to be a mouthpiece, you know, for Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, all right? And uh, his situation is a prime example and what you not want to be, you know, what you not want to follow after the footsteps of being polite or being, you know, this guy, his name is Polite, Brother Polite, not following him. <laughs> and um, with all of the shit talking he did over the years the proud spirit he show you in his videos he recently got a, a video up that he posted brother sent to me uh brother Shalama sent me this video about two days ago you know and uh he's posting about how the charges will be dropped and he's celebrating because he's still trying to hold on to that image you know like like he won Meanwhile, you know, he's a, he's a, a wicked man, you know, I'm going to just say that, say that like that. And he's been charged. But this is all the Lord's work, you know, because the Most High is not mocked. So before I play this video here, because, you know, I thought this video was, it's very short, it's only 11 seconds. But it shows you the fear of the Lord, you know. And uh, this happened, this video here is uh, in Madrid, Spain, all right, Madrid, Metro, Spain. And they had, Spain is having a lot of rains and floods. And um, through this video, I was just thinking like, wow, you know, the Lord is going to drown two thirds, man. He, you know, certain jokers are going to drown to death, man. You know, they're going to be right in the subway, you know, on a train. And getting drowned to death. Nothing they can do. But this is the cruelty of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright. Because why? The Lord is bringing forth his wrath to the wicked. You deserve it. You know. So let me play this video. Because it's only 11 seconds. And then I get into a few precepts. That I have. And just you know. The Most High is not my. Alright. And this goes out here. This goes out to all you scoffers. You know, you bona fide haters, you know, you haters of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his men. You hate the prophets, you want to see the prophets put to death. You misuse the prophets, as the scriptures say. You know, you take delight in your scorning. Fools hate knowledge, right? Well, the Lord is going to bring the wrath to you, all right? Because you despise all his counsel. You sought none of his truth, you know? So anyway, let me play this video, and it's only 11 seconds, you know? Okay, bear with me.
right, you know, so I played this video because of the vision that it came to my mind, all right, when I saw this. And, you know, it almost seemed like a movie scene. But I never thought or wasn't thinking about, you know, uh, certain ways that the Lord can destroy you. I wasn't thinking about this way. And it really played a heavy, um, a heavy vision in my mind, you know. So that's why I'm playing this video. All right, let me play it again. Now, you know how terrifying that is? You know how terrifying this is? When you're in the midst of this, you don't know if that water's going to stop and that water keeps getting higher and higher and rising above your waist. That's going to be a terrifying you know, way to get taken out. And this is the way the Lord is coming. So, you know, the most high is not mocked, man. There's many ways the Lord can destroy you. That's why it's important for you Israelites to repent. All right? Be sincere and be humble. Be thankful. You know? Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Because this ain't nothing yet, man. So let me skip this real quick. Bear with me. Let me put this on screen. Now, this is Toki, uh, Tanya TKO. I didn't want to play her video because she a content creator. Don't know if they would, you know, flag you or whatever, whatever, copyright, whatever. But anyway, I just snapshot two videos that she had. And she's, uh, I didn't watch the, her video neither. I don't even really truly know who she is. But I saw this and I started listening just a couple of seconds. But her title is Brother Polite Lion and partying claiming charges drop and that's that video i saw all right which you can see right there you know the video on to the left and he posted it like two days ago i think the day before his sentencing you know because the brother hey the brother shalomar he sent me the video and uh that was the day before his sentencing and i didn't even know the next day you know he was you know buzzing in youtube you know all across the board other social media sites, you know, content creators, podcasters, whatever you call them, was all covering this news. Now, this one here at the bottom, it says, Brother Polite, guilty, all right? Child, S.A., a 14-year-old girlfriend, daughter, seven-year sentence, and I believe 10 years after seven years of probation. So after he served seven years, he got to serve 10 years of probation, so he's found guilty, all right? And um, prime example. So now let's just read a few precepts and Lord willing, I hope you're edified. All right. Those of the hopeful elect. Those of the hopeful elect. All right. The hopeful elect. Because not everyone you're going to get it. All right. Mostly the, the, the Lord's people are going to be in their feelings. They're going to be emotional. They're not going to have the understanding. The Lord ain't give it to them. What's that? Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. The election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. They're not going to get it. So we're preaching his word, all right, for the whole full elect to get this truth. Okay? So let's read this. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And that's plain. That's, that's plain. You reap what you sow. You heard this growing up. You didn't know it was a Bible verse. All right? You didn't know it was a Bible verse. You always heard it. You heard your grandmother, your grandfather, your father, your mother, your friends, your teachers. You reap what you sow. What you put in is what you get out. And that's so true. You know? The more work you put in is what you get out. If you put in that wicked work, you're a demon. You on demon time? Well, demons going to be on time when they come get you. All right, when you destroy, you put in that work of righteousness. Well, guess what? The Lord is going to bless you in righteousness. If you sow apples, guess what? You're going to reap apples. All right? Or is it vice versa? You reap. All right? You reap what you sow. Yeah, no, what you sow. Okay, saying it right. So if you sow oranges, you're going to reap oranges. That's just how it works. All right? A lot of these. Um, let me say a lot of Jake today thinking they can get away with murder. 
you know, thinking they can get away with all types of uh, breaking the law of the Lord, you know, committing sin, becoming iniquity, you know, sin after sin. Now, let me say this right for those who are new. You're not going to be saved from uh, because you keep the law. You're going to be saved according to your faith. But faith without works is dead. All right. Because in order to have faith, you're going to hold yourself to the law to the best of your ability, meaning you ain't going to be perfect, but you're going to you're going to have it in your conscience to do the best you can in serving the Lord and keeping his ways. All right. And you're going to ask forgiveness when you fuck up. You ain't going to commit those grave sins because you know better. Unlike like adultery. That's a grave sin. A woman sleeping with multiple men outside, you know, dealing with different men and she has a husband, that's adultery. Woman's supposed to have one man. If a man lay down with another man's wife, that's adultery. That's grave, man. So, it says, Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap, reap life everlasting. And that's why it's so important to repent, to eat this word, and to get this truth. So you can have the proper understanding and how to sow to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, so that you will reap the rewards. You know, of not being a part of this world, but the world to come. All right, being a part of that first resurrection with Yahweh Shai. And only those that will see that will be the Lord's elect. Okay? So it says, For the for he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, because everything of the flesh is corruption. So if you carnal minded, all right, which the scriptures say carnal minded leads to death. Right? You know, you want the riches of this world you want the uh image of this world the lifestyle that these niggas these wicked ninjas are living these whore ass hoes these bitches are living you want that lifestyle well guess what that's of the flesh that all reaps corruption man okay meanwhile in order to really make it you're gonna have to sell out you're gonna have to pay allegiance you know to to those deities those demons you know, to have temporary success or temporary fame. So it says, For he that soweth to the flesh shall reap of the flesh. He that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap, reap life everlasting. And that's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we're storing our treasures in heaven. You know, what we want today is that penny, as Yahweh Shai said in the parable. That penny is represents salvation. We want to be delivered on this side. The Lord is about to be very cruel, man. All right, and he's he's gonna start off with the, with his sword, which is Edom. You see, but that ain't nothing compared to what the Lord got cooking, man. What he got coming down the pipe for you two thirds. Hey, look at this guy. That's why he on board, man. Look at this guy, man. You know, he might just hang himself in there, man. You know, I don't even think, in my honest opinion, and I don't know the guy, just know of him, never met him. But I don't think he got the balls to stay in there seven years, you know, especially among them, knowing with that, that charge he got being in the prison. Them guys is going off this dude, man. You know, you know how they play in prison? You heard the stories. I have never been, but I heard the stories. You know, the streets, the streets talk in prison. They don't play with guys with these charges here, man. You know, so he ain't going to eat well in there. He ain't going to be able to talk his way out of, uh, you know, the situations that you get into when you in jail. He ain't going to be able to talk his way out of that. So the Lord got more in store for him. You see, until that nuclear destruction, man. That's why it's important to repent, man. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And this man, you know, misused the prophets. He threatened the, the brothers, the apostles, the bishops, the brothers on down. You know, he wanted to send the crypts on the brothers and the gang members and all this. He shot up the Bible. This is what you get. 
when you fuck with Yahweh by Shimei I was shot. You know? I'm just gonna say it just like that, man. Alright? And we telling you, the prophets is telling you, just like the prophets are, are telling you about the Bible prophecies, you know, telling you these things before these things actually come to pass. And when they come to pass, as the scriptures say, you will shall, you shall know there was a prophet among you. So he's an example. Moving on. This is Proverbs chapter 22, verse 8. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fall. Salakia so shall fell. Let me read it again. He that soweth iniquity, which iniquity is sins, piled, on, piled upon each other, right? It says, and he that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity. Now, vanity is, is, is nothing. Let's look up vanity real quick. Let's look up vanity. Vanity. This is the Collins English. If you refer to someone, someone's vanity, you are critical of them because they take great pride in their appearance and abilities disapproval. So it says, if you refer to someone's vanity, you are critical of them because they take great pride in their appearance or abilities. Have not this guy taken great pride? All right, have not he uh, took in great pride, you know, in his uh, his his so-called body of work, you know, uh, bragging about how much money he got, you know, he just promoted a party or promoted himself to be not guilty. You got to see this video. I ain't playing that shit, but you got to see the video on his page. You know, he in there like he's so innocent, trying to hold on to that image, that lie. That's vanity, man. It says, if you refer to someone's vanity, you are critical of them because they take great pride in their appearance or abilities. And he got the ability to speak. That's one thing polite do got. He got the uh, he got the ability to speak those words, those soothed words, and deceive Jake. That's simple. Because he used those million dollar words. He's talked fast, you know, and he has spin you around the block with his words, man. You know, he's a kind artist, man. All right. And then many people already made videos on how they got, you know, duped by him with that, uh, that covenant shit he got going on. You know, people believing in, you know, what he got going on. But, you know, you guys know to see the videos, man. All right. This is Job chapter four, verse eight. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. It says, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Y'all reap the same judgment, man. You see that? The same judgment, man. All right, this is Luke chapter 6, verse 38. It says, give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give unto shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that ye meet with it shall be measured to you again so let me read it again it says give and it shall be given unto you good measures pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give it into your bosom for with the same measure ye meet with it it shall it shall be measured to you again so if you do good then guess what? Good will come your way. You know, if you're doing uh, good in your how about you shy. You know, you got righteous deeds. It's all about deeds. Your deeds, man. Your deeds. So it says, uh, shall men give it into your bosom? For with the same measure that ye meet, with it shall it be measured to you again. Moving on. This is Galatians. Uh, excuse me. This is Proverbs chapter 11 verse 18. The wicked worketh is deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. Woo! Woo! It says the wicked worketh a deceitful work, and that's Edom. You know, down, pass down, all the way to you wicked Israelites. Scriptures say how he, the, the, you know, two thirds past the deeds of the wicked, man. They got deceitful works, man. You sell out your own fucking people, man. Well, let me say you sell out your own people. You know? You find a way that Edom manipulates you. 
you, you get the scheme, you know how to plot, and you use his same uh, skill and you do it against your own people, man. You know? It says, the wicked worketh a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be of a sure reward. So we know we have a sure reward coming. And I hope to be a part of that number, man, at 144. All right? Shit, the one third, you know, which is that body, that election, man. Even King David said, you know, he, he would rather, you know, he would have, be happy if he just been the doorkeeper. You know? Just that penny, man. Man. It says, let me read it again. But to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. So we have a sure reward coming as long as we endure and remain in this truth to the end. It's about endurance. Yahweh Shai said, he that if endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. He said, give, uh, another scripture said, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. How do you make your election? How do you make your calling and your election sure? You give diligent, diligence in the work. No matter despite what's going on with you. You know, we got a lot of shit we going on, you know. But, you know, and sometimes Satan just attacks you and puts you in situations. But no matter what the situation is, we have a sure reward through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We remain in the faith. All right. So moving on. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 8 and 7. For they have sown the... They have, it says, for they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. It have no stalk. The bud shall yield no mill. If so be it yield, the stranger shall swallow it up. All right, moving on. This is Psalms 126 and 5. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. And that's us, you know, because right now we're crying out. You know, making videos, you know, like this. He's an Israelite, man. All right? That's why I said we're not laughing at him. Just making an example for those that don't fear. You need to fear. All right? Or the Lord's going to destroy you just the same or even worse. You know? So the scriptures say, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. And that's the elect. Because right now we're crying out, as the scriptures say. You know, we're crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. So we're hoping the Lord set that mark upon our heads. That mark of exemption, which in the Hebrew word for mark is the wah. The wah. All right, moving on. It says, Galatians, this is Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap. If we faint not That's straight to the point It says and let us not be weary in well doing If you're doing you know Don't don't neglect doing uh, alms man Giving alms Paying tithes You know uh, Sacrificing for you How about Shemiah Shai You know You know teaching his word Doing your videos Okay It's a sacrifice It's a It's a It's a, a good thing You're not losing man you know, don't think that when you're doing your sacrifice and putting yourself to, for the Lord first and doing the works in the Lord that you're losing. You're not losing out on your life. You know, this is not our world. The Lord said, I have not chosen, I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. You're not a part of this world anyway. <laughs> you're not a part of this world anyway. Thank you. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm missing out on my life. Certain guys that fell out. You know, I don't know uh, what dude said. Um. Uh, I wasted my time or something like that Four years of his life or something like that because he was in this, you know He was serving the Lord. And he I think he fell out and went back to college You're not wasting your time. It's a sacrifice All right, and the, hopefully the Lord find it worthy Especially as the scriptures say let's get back to the scripture and let us not be weary in well-doing For in due season we shall reap if we think not and we gonna reap man all right, we're going to reap because remember, woo, Jeremiah 16, 16, the Lord said, I shall turn you to fishes and after he shall be turned into hunters. So we going to reap, you know, when the Lord uh, ignite that power in brothers, the scriptures say they shall be willing in the day of thy power. 
So we're going to get busy being the Lord's foot soldiers, man, warriors, man, besides the angels, you know, first and foremost, that the Lord uh, have. He has, uh, tells us in the Sirach 39, 28, uh, he had made created spirits that lay on sore strokes. In the time of their wrath, they pour out their force and it appeases them, it appeases the most high. All right, meaning it pacifies his anger because the Lord have angels, all right, to do his work. But for us, we're going to have the reward, all right, and recompense, as the Lord said, recompense tribulation to those that trouble you. We're going to have the reward to pay back the enemy. We're going to have the reward to pay back the enemy when the time is right, when the Lord ignite that power. He activate that power in you, brothers, man. You know, the Lord's elect. So let's read it again. It says, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. If we faint not. Meaning if we don't fall back into the world. So you got to fight. Moving on. And I'm going to wrap it up. I got a lot more precepts here. What I did was I just... Um, uh, search, you know, search the scriptures. I searched the Bible, blue letter, and uh, looked up, uh, you know, scriptures that apply. If the most, you know, could the most high be mocked? All right, I forgot how I worded it, but um, yeah, and these scriptures came up, so I just wanted to do a quick lesson. All right, and it's a lot here, it's a lot here, and I'm pretty sure all of these are good. The whole Bible is good, you know, but I, but for the sake of time. Let's read this. Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow grounds, your fallow ground, for it is time to seek Yahweh till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Woo! I love it. I love this scripture, right? It says, sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is the time to seek Yahweh, and now it's high times to seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, to awake up out of sleep, as Apostle Paul said. So it says, for, for it is the time to seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. So now is the time. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 17 and 10. I, Yahweh, search the heart. I try the wrens even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. So you reap what you sow, man. The work you put in is what you're going to get out, man. <laughs> so the Lord said, I, Yahweh, search the heart, meaning the mind. The Hebrew word for mind is lob. He's not talking about the muscle in your chest. He's talking about the mind, all right? He gets within your spirit, your conscience. The Lord know your thoughts, man. He even know it before you even think of it. All right? It says, I, Yahweh, search the heart. I try the rings, even to give every man according to his ways. <laughs> so the Lord is with the, the wicked Israelites, and he's with the righteous Israelites. And he give you according to your ways. You got niggas out here in the street. You got hoes out here in the street. And you reap the, the consequence for your ways, for your doings. Yes. Right? It says, uh, I try the wrens even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. So we know that if we sow in righteousness, we're going to receive a great reward. Remember what Yahweh Shai said? He said, In my father's house is many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told thee. You know? Man, the Lord told the disciples, which apply unto us. That whatever you lose, you shall receive a hundredfold, man. You know? It's the, hey, Yahweh said, we shall be as precious as fine gold, man. He said, a man shall be a covert from the tempest. You know? Meaning the destruction shall be a protection. You know the Lord is going to activate the Rekakwadash, that Holy Spirit, on that level. Because we have it now. But on that level of the Holy Spirit, you're going to be able to do marvelous things. Even Yahweh Shah said we shall do greater miracles than him, man. Eh? Greater works than him. Let me say that. Greater works than him. So this means brothers are going to perform miracles, things that you can't imagine, man. This is what we're waiting for. All right? That change of our bodies, man. That perfection in Yahweh Shah. We're waiting for Yahweh Shah's return. 
All right, this is Proverbs 1 and 31. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way <laughs> and be filled with their own devices. Right? This guy, you know, talking his shit, taking shots at the most high. And guess what? Guess, guess, guess what? After the Lord deal with you Israelites, he going to go after you Edomites. You, especially you ones, you 1%, the Rothschilds, you international bankers. I'm thinking about Yuval Noah Harari. All right, <laughs> Kyle Schlobs, <laughs> the WEF. The Lord is coming for them guys too, man. And that man, Yuval Noah Harari, is proud. A proud mo, you know? Proud, man. Taking shots at the Most High. Well, we don't need the Most High, you know? All of in the videos he, he mentioned certain things in. Uh, one guy mentioned in one of the shows that I seen a while back. Uh, he said, it's not that they want to play God. Is, is, is what they want to stick their thumb in God's face as he said it you know because they're playing as if they're the most high but he said it's not that they want to be God they just want to stick their thumbs in his face you know they want to be able to spit in his face you know they want to be able to uh, 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 you know shame the heavenly father and his son because they're shaming us his children you know making shame of us what's the scripture say um he give up a bottle. Uh, he the accuser of thy brethren. You know, drink, drink, drink. Uh, excuse me, Jake, drink. You know, of the cup that uh, Esau pours. He pours that bottle, and Jake drink it up. And then Esau act like he haven't done anything. You know, and he laughs at you, makes shame of you, made us of a proverb. You know, a byword. You know, calls all sorts of shit. But anyway, I'm gonna read this last precept and I'm gonna close. Let me read that again. Proverbs 1 and 31. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. This is Matthew 7 and 12. It says, Therefore all things whatsoever ye would, therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should to that men should do to you, do ye even to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Alright, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. I hope this lesson was edifying. That's all I got. All right. You know, fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And these, you know, incidents and, and things like this with this guy, Prolite, brother Prolite, being sentenced to seven years. And then once he get out, he got to serve 10 years of probation. You know, he's considered now a, a child, you know, you know, and uh, the pride of him made an example, man. The Lord came around years later and get you. And that's what we're telling you. He might not get you today, tomorrow, next week, next month. But your time, your clock is coming, man. The time is ticking. You don't play with Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. You know? And that goes for everybody. Even us. You know? We got to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. That's why it's important to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua for mercy. You know? Pray for mercy and do right. Do right. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. You can't say it no more better than that. You know? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Recha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who will rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.